Alright, let's talk a little bit about the MyReef 2.0 software. Right now it's only available for download for PCs, so if you have a Mac, it doesn't work on Mac yet, so you're not going to have to install it on some PC that you might have. Um, now let's go through connecting the modules and see if I have the latest firmware updates. Um, I got my SID right here. Uh, if you saw my previous video, I have the uh, RJ11 splitter right there that I modified. And I have my cable ready to go. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the adapter, plug it in, head over to the computer, plug it into the USB, like that. And let's uh, wait and see what happens. Okay, you can see right here that um, my modules just came up. Let's go ahead and click on updates. Alright. Everything. The revisions. All current, as you can see. Okay, so nothing needs to be updated. Now let's talk about that little bit of a customization that I talked about earlier. Um, let's go to the PC4 right there. Okay. Now you go to setup, and when you click on setup over here in the top right corner, it'll bring up this little box and it says name. That's the name that you want to rename the module so I left that one as PC4 so I know that's the PC4 that's not in my stand so I cancel so you can see right here it says stand PC4 I don't want to rename it so I mean I did rename it so that that way I know that's the PC4 in my stand now you can see over here it says HQI fan, skimmer, JBJ and fan that's how I know um, what piece of piece of equipment is on each channel and what you could do is you could go to setup right here on the right we'll click that it brings up this new window okay now you can see that we're in um, stand PC4 so we're on the PC4 that's actually inside my stand and if you click on this little text box right here you could rename you know, channel 1 whatever it says CH1 to whatever you like, whatever piece of equipment you have plugged in to that channel. Now, if you take a quick look over here, all these options are the options that you could program directly onto the Reefkeeper Lite. Um, right here, we have our <coughs> our mode, off, on, or auto. Okay, and then we have our function. All right, all those are all the options that we went through directly on the Reef Keeper Light. You could do it right here on the computer. Um, you could program it directly here, and then as soon as you hit OK, it'll send that to the Reef Keeper Light, and it'll program the Reef Keeper Light. So you don't have to push all the buttons on there up and down a million times, you know, to get to 8:30 or 8 o'clock or whatever. You just program it here. You type it with the keyboard. It makes it nice and simple. So you got uh, the different choices, you have um, start time, the end time, the days of the week you want it to do it, the name that you want to rename it, the, the default that we talked about off and on, any alarm that you might want to program, any different uh, standby setups, and then once you're done program it, programming it, you just hit OK, right here at the bottom, and done. That's it, you just programmed it, and it's really simple to use, this software. Um, let's, look at, let's take a look at uh, the, the JBJ real fast. It says, um, JBJ says Wave Maker. So we'll, let's take a look at that setup. Okay. So you, we can see that it's on auto. The function is Wave Maker, and it says Cycle Wave Maker A.
I have it programmed so that when night mode is active or turns on or is, gets enabled um, that this pump, the JBJ, is going to turn off my high, two high doors that are hooked up to it at night. Or if you want it to turn on at night, you can set it up either way. So it's up to you. Okay. You can see that I renamed channel 3 to JBJ, so I know what piece of equipment's on it. Any alarms. Any standby items. And then you just hit OK. And that's it. And it's programmed. Um, we could take a look at the SL1. If we want, we could rename it by going to the setup at the top right here. It's up to you if you want to rename it. Okay, you can see the firmware that it's on and all the uh, equipment that's available for it. Switch A, B, temperature, pH, and then the ORP. So let's see, let's go into the switch A. When you click on setup over here on the right, it brings up the name. And uh, let's let's change it up. Let's name it ATO float. Okay, so I know that's the switch A is now the automatic automatic uh, top off float switch. So hit OK. And then we see there that it's renamed ATO float. And that's it. That's all you have to do to set it up. I mean, you go through your PC4s. I have two PC4s, so if I switch to the other one, you can see I have the chiller, the ATO, channel 3, the pump. And we could do all our programming through here, through the computer. And it's going to take all that information and go through the SID and then program the actual PC4 or the head unit and it's just as easy as that um, so that's really it about the software um, I can't really do much other than that because I don't have a net module you could program the net module through here um, as far as graphs there's, there's a couple other things here on the side you have all your equipment there your modules but you also have function called graphs, hardware, livestock, tanks, and um, I don't have any of that set up. You see, uh, when I click on it, nothing changes. So you're just mostly going to be uh, working with the uh, systems part over here on the top. And uh, once you're done programming it, all, you, all you're going to do is just unplug it because it's done. I'm gonna disconnect it over here. And I'm gonna put the cable back where it was. Out of sight. Nice and simple. Let's take a quick look over here to see if our name for the float switch came up. I'm gonna go to SL1. Look at that. This is ATL float. And then we just renamed it on the computer and it's telling you that the switch is open. So that's how you can see that uh, what you're programming on the computer actually gets to the actual head unit itself. So that this about uh, wraps up the Digital Aquatics Reef Keeper Light Review. If you have any questions, comments, please post them in the comments section below. And uh, as always... This is Archangel signing out.